Hello and welcome to my new video of a Trumpeter Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle in 1 to 72 scale. The video starts with the building process. First, some parts are cut from the sprues and then glued together with Mr. Cement S extra thin glue. which is a quite recommendable glue and I prefer it to the Tamiya extra thin glue because it has better sticking properties and it dries faster in my opinion. This tank model even comes with interior, so it will be a nice display uh, to place the hatches in an open state, so you can see inside. The interior is a little bit rudimentary, but in 1 to 72 scale, I think it's still a great addition in such a cheap kit. The interior is then base coated with Tamiya XF2 flat white and it took around four to five layers of thinned XF2 white to achieve a somewhat covering white layer. Then some details were painted in olive drab and mistakes were fixed with white again. After gluing on the upper hull and sealing the interior in, the building process resumes on the outside of the tank. I'm planning to paint this vehicle in an Ukrainian camouflage again as with the AS90 I've built recently. So I'm not sure about the version of this kit. It's quite a complicated abbreviation. Um, I don't know if it's really this version that Ukraine was gifted with. But there are a lot of side skirts and additional armor, so I'm not sure. At least the camouflage looks cool. So everything seems to fit and the building process is almost finished. The painting of the exterior also starts with a very thin base layer, this time with flat black because it has better covering properties. And it's important to thin the paint so that there are no brush strokes remaining afterwards and because of a thinned paint it's important to do several layers of paint. So there were two base coats of flat black necessary and then um, two or three layers of Italeri acrylics olive drab color. Mm -hmm. 
and as with the last video I haven't resumed with using the airbrush because it's um, as I said last time I still don't have a modeling table just my usual work table and I don't want to place the airbrush again because it takes up quite much space so I'm sticking with brushes for now but it's also quite fun just to paint with the brushes it's not so much setup time and it's just easier the tools would probably usually be in also a camouflage green color but I wanted to make them wooden and metal colored so there is a little bit of color details on the tank and not just green and camouflage. The side skirts were left off before because the tracks needed to be put on afterwards so um, I wanted to paint the wheels before I put the tracks on and the last step was therefore putting the side skirts on. With flat sand I made some camouflage patterns like I've seen them on pictures and they seem to be painting on just some random boxy shapes. There are some more shapes painted on with dark sea grey. And then I wanted to do a black dry brush on the model so that many studs and details would pop out a little bit but I didn't want to do a a weathering or a, a quite beat up look. I wanted to make it seem quite fresh. And with oil paint I wanted to give the tools a little bit more of a soul and spirit and make them little look a little bit used and weathered. the oil paint is just applied first and after a short setting time it's blended in together to make the flat sand color a little bit less pronounced. And this was my build of an M2 Bradley with a Ukrainian military camouflage. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and you like the result. And maybe I see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.